straight down the middle. Hey, what's up? You are locked into another episode of Sticks and Halos Golf. We're here at Monterey Park, and this is a breaking bogey episode. This is one of my first times out since the PXG fitting, and I'm gonna be trying out my new clubs. Let's see if I can break bogey today. Not a bad way to start off. We're in the fairway. It's my first swing, trying out the new PXG clubs after the fitting. You know, they feel better now that they're actually sized and fitted for what I need them for. We'll see. I'm about 110 yards away. Gonna try and just use a little gap wedge here. felt like such a good shot. Just came up a little bit short. I think I'm in the bunker. Oh, golf. So yeah, I'm gonna try this new tip that I learned. The sand is super fluffy. I'm just gonna try and leave my club head open. Still use a full swing here. Yikes, this is such a ugly, ugly lie. Yeah, that was just crazy. There we go. Slow down. Okay. This sand is rough. It's fluffy. People, please rake your sand traps when you get out of them because the next person coming up does not want to hit out of your shoe marks. It makes it horrible to try and get out of these traps. That's a PSA from Sticks and Halos. I don't know how fast these greens are today, but we'll see. Slow down. Yeah, they're pretty fast. <sighs> All right. Well, already off to a better start because I think we snowman this the last time. So, uh, seven. Some bunker problems, some bunker trouble, but on to the second hole. This is a hole in the past that I would probably use like a seven, maybe even a six iron. And I'm gonna try and just use an eight iron now that I have the extension. I'm just gonna try and aim for the middle, see what happens. That looks really good. I think we're on the green. I really thought we got a hole in one. I, I thought <laughs> that was close. It looked really, really good. It was a low little stinger, but man, it was tracking for the flag. Yeah, that was looks are deceiving because I definitely thought that was on the green and tracking towards the flag. Little short, I possibly could have used a seven. Instead of chipping this, I'm just gonna try and lag putt it and see what happens. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. All right, that's a par. Way to come back off of a kind of bad hole, but I'll take it. Hole number three. This is 135 yards, super downhill. I'm gonna use a pitching wedge. If you refer back to the first breaking bogey video, you'll see that this hole is, is a tough one. So, although it's 135 yards, that can be deceptive. Day. Oh, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, please, please fix your bunkers. Oh, 
I don't even know how to hit this. Oh! Mm. Yeah, yikes. Hole four, 125. We'll try and use the pitching wedge again. The last time just came up a little bit short. Such a good hit, hit the tree. It was actually heading towards the left of the green, ended up hitting the branch of this tree, kind of kicking back here, but it was a pretty solid shot. I was actually happy with the shot, but sometimes those are the breaks. Just gonna try and get it up there. Looks like it's breaking left to right. It's my third shot. Oh, slow down. This is a doozy because it's downhill. Oh. So unnecessary. It's all good. Hole number five, 115. It's an interesting hole. Just gonna use a gap wedge and see if I can kind of lay up here. I'm on the green. <laughs> that was so good. <sighs> it's a tough day. And it's very, very inconsistent. So that's frustrating. But it could just be you getting used to your like longer clubs. Yeah. You want to fix these divots? Well, let's see here. Looks like it's breaking again, left to right. It's a lot of green here, a lot of real estate. Come on, keep rolling, keep rolling. Still looks like it's going a little left to right. Party. I'll take it. Some of my shots feel really good. This is the only thing clubs feel better. 
Clubs feel great. It's not the club's fault. It's my fault for not getting here and warming up. Hole number six, 120. I am going to use my wedge. Let's see. Just a little bit off the green to the left. See if it's just a chip or maybe I can putt. Didn't go in the bunker. I'm gonna use a little gap wedge here and do a little bump and run. <sighs> Slow down. Come back. That's all I can ask for. Again, definitely going left to right. I've never done this before, but let's see. I feel like the whole way this foot is higher than this one. Yeah, left to right. Just looking at this hole, you would think the miss would be left because there's more space over there, but everything kind of funnels down. So I'm actually gonna aim right and hopefully it'll funnel down to the hole. Actually went left. Gotta keep it down, cause this tree is right here. So it's gonna get sticky. This is definitely right to left. This is gonna be crazy. Is super downhill. This is gonna roll out and roll out fast. <sighs> yeah. He's an eight iron here. I got about 143. I'm gonna aim for the middle of the green and see what happens. Oh, hit, hit what I was aiming for. It was a nice shot. I just wish I could have got on the second level of the green because it's a really steep slant. So, so steep. Oh. oh, today is just one of those bogey days. Final hole, 286 yards. It's been a tough day, but I feel like I'm getting more comfortable with the clubs and I feel like I'm on the verge of a breakthrough. So let's see how we finish out. Straight down the middle. So we got about 50 yards to the pin. Hoping I can get it over these bunkers. Just going to try and aim it for the center of the green. Mm. 
scroll down. All right, looking at a birdie putt. Man, I've been left with a lot of downhill putts today. It's breaking, I think, right to left. Slow down. Slow down. such a good drive to end on a bogey but that's bogey golf and hopefully i get past some of these putting issues and layup issues and put myself in better position to break bogey this is breaking bogey sticks and halos golf keep it locked only good things to come like comment and subscribe